look at that. Looks like it's time. No, I'm not talking about this thing. I'm talking about this. Wow. Everybody's got opinions on track cleaning. So I thought I'd throw my opinion in there as well. You can take it or leave it. I'll just share what's worked for me. Over the years, I have tried different things, such as like this CMX track cleaning car, um, using different cleaning solutions on the rails, I've never tried a contact solution. This is going back probably 10 years. I've been doing the same thing. And that is just an old sock. Nothing fancy. Got some holes in it. No good anymore. I've got a pile of them down here and this is what I use them for. So on this side of the layout, there's about 600 feet of track in total. If you add up everything, the turnouts, the spurs over there, Lake Louise, all the main line is about 125 feet total run, plus there's uh, a good section of double track on this side. And then the staging loops, which are the majority of the track, uh, there's five on each side, 10 in total. Each one is over 25 feet long. Some of them are 26, 27 feet long. So all in all, this whole thing is about 600 feet of electrified HO scale track. So cleaning it is a big job. And what I found is just, you know, a sock and, I don't know, well, I'll time it here and we'll see how long it takes me. But I can do it easily in under, I don't know, I'd, I'd say probably 10 to 20 minutes it takes me to do this. And I'll do it every one to two months usually is what I find um, keeps it pretty clean. Just to show the staging loops I was talking about. So each, like I said, each one is five tracks, varying lengths, but all over 25 feet. Now these I don't clean nearly as often as I clean the main line and the accessible stuff just because you could see with, you know, there's always at least four trains in there usually so it's pretty tough to uh, get in between and not, you know, damage stuff when you're going cleaning. I've done it once, I think, where I had all the trains out, I was doing some ballasting over here and I cleaned the entire loop one time. Other than that, I kind of will just, if I can get at one track, I'll do it here and there but I don't really make a point of cleaning the staging loops out. And they've been in operation for well over three years now. And yeah, cleaned them once. So that's the points east loop over there where the trains disappear to the east or railway east. And then if we pan over here, this is the other end of the layout. And this one's the railway west reverse loop. Same idea as the other one, five storage tracks. This one actually has a bit more track than the other one. Some of them are 27, 28 feet long, but five in total. Hard to access for cleaning, and I do it very infrequently. All right, so we've got a clean sock here. I wanted to start with a clean one so I could show you guys how much stuff this picks up. And I will also set the timer as soon as this train gets out of the way. And I will go ahead and I will clean the entire accessible main line, which is probably at least half of the track on the total of the total 600. We'll see how long that takes and we'll see how much grime we come up with on our clean sock. Technique is pretty straightforward. Make a sock puppet and I put my two fingers in the end of it like that so I can get both rails. It actually works really good and you're pretty nimble with it and you can go fast. I'm done. So you can see just over 13 minutes, the whole 125 foot mainline run, plus I did the uh, staging yard entrances both east and west. So quite a bit of track covered there and you know just a little over 13 minutes. And you can see I, I purposely used the white part of this sock just to show you guys like how much gunk I got off of there. And uh, you can see there's different stuff like the dark black. It's almost like a crayon wax and most people will know what I'm talking about. I, I'm not sure how it forms, but it just does. It'll show up. Sometimes it accumulates on freight car wheels or, or locomotive wheels. 
and other other places you could see it was more of a dust like right there there's some sawdust there so that's probably a section that I hadn't got to for a while and it had just accumulated some dust so the thing I like about using an old sock is that it gets rid of this stuff you're actually physically removing this off the top of the rails and it's all ended up on this and it's caught it all and I just go and chuck this in the garbage and I've removed that much dirt and grime off the head of the rails and hopefully it will give me another month or two of reliable operation should mention too like cleaning solutions when I first started cleaning track on my old layout if you follow the videos for a long time my old layout was a 10 by 10 and I was cleaning I started cleaning the rails with a I was using a rag or a sock and I would dip it in like isopropanol or like you know rubbing alcohol or 50 percent whatever I had laying around and I thought my my theory was that you know I was not only was I doing this and removing stuff but I was also like cleaning and polishing it but for whatever reason the tracks seem to get dirtier when I did that and I don't know if that is because you're you've got it so clean now that it's a magnet for dust no idea how that works maybe you guys have a theory on why cleaning it with with iso alcohol would cause it to get dirtier faster that's just what I seem to experience so I went back to just using a dry rag or, or a sock or something to just you know go along and press pretty hard like I'm pressing down pretty hard when I do this and just use friction and the cloth to remove that stuff right from the head of the rail so that works really well for me might not work for you guys hopefully you found it helpful try it out maybe it would work for you you can't beat the uh, the cost of this and how quick it is and speaking about quick it is you know if I had an engine and a train hooked up to a, like a CMX cleaning car like this I was using that it takes a train if you're going 20 scale miles an hour 25 it takes about 14 to 15 minutes just to do one lap around the layout so you would have gone by once with this in 15 minutes whereas with this rag or a sock or something I've, do I've done the whole layout in less time than it takes for a train to go around the whole length of the layout I will admit this is much funner but I just for me it just works works better plus I'm able to get in the like nooks and crannies with this thing whereas this is more of a general cleaning and then once your pad gets dirty you're not really cleaning at all all you're doing is smearing it like this thing is just going around just smearing the grime whereas I can just switch to a new spot as you see on the sock I just keep moving around as I go and it's giving it a fresh pad every time whereas this thing will just be like dragging it around when it gets dirty so I don't know I vote for this cheaper quicker try it out see if it works for you that'll wrap up this video guys let me know in the comment section what's your tried and true method for cleaning any electrified track in any scale let me know what works for you as always thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time